In order to complete a yearbook photo assignment properly, you need to get a wide variety of shot types. Here's a list. Number one, the close-up shot. This is when you zoom in so much that the frame is completely filled with your subject. Look specifically for eyes, faces, hands, and other interesting details. You can take some wide shots and some medium shots as well, but then get some good close-up shots. Number two, over the shoulder shot. Get behind somebody and look at the scene from their point of view, and then take some photos from their point of view with them still in the frame. This emphasizes emotion, interaction, depth, and perspective, and you can get some really interesting and engaging photos with this technique. This works really well if you can position yourself behind a performer or someone standing in front of an audience. Number three, bird's eye view. This means you are a bird up in the air looking down on your subject. If your subjects are sitting or lying on the ground, you might get away with just holding up your camera and pointing it down. But if your subjects are not on the floor, you either have to move them down or move yourself up. Get up on tables, on counters, on ladders, on chairs, or on anything you can find to get the shots you need. If people stare at you, just say, it's okay, I'm a photographer. Number four, the worm's eye view. In order to get a worm's eye view shot, you need to get down on the floor. Sit down and lean over or lie down until the camera basically touches the ground, then look up. This is a worm's eye view shot. Number five, control your background. When you're not in the studio, the only way to change your background is to move your subject or move yourself. If you walk in a circle around someone and you keep facing them the whole time, then you will see a variety of different backgrounds behind your subject. Unless your subject is against a wall, you have 360 degrees of options. You can't control your background unless you are in motion looking through the camera. Don't plant yourself in one corner of the room and set up camp. It's your job to set up the right shot and you're going to have to move. Number six, framing. Look for subjects and other people that you can use to frame your subject within the photo itself. If all four edges of your photo are filled with negative space, then you didn't use framing. Choose one edge or more than one edge and try to fill it in a creative way with something. It could be a bookshelf, a shoulder, a music stand, a desk, a bunch of arms, a ceramic pot, a wall, a tunnel. It could be anything. Just find something that you can introduce into one or more edges of your photo. Number seven, depth of field. Basically, you want to make a clear separation between the foreground and the background by making one of them in focus and the other one out of focus. In order to do this, you have to get really close to the object or person that's in the foreground, meaning less than a foot away. Then focus the camera on either the foreground or on the background. Remember, it's up to you to get a wide variety of shots every time you're on a photo assignment.